The Gromo Speed is a budget shoe uh, released by Adidas in the last month. Does it worth the money? Let's check it out after one of the miles. Watch out cause I'm here now when I'm staying. Claws out, this the fight that I've been craving. I know there's something inside of me but it's been masked by fear and anxiety. But no more, I'ma break out of the chain. Let's go! Hello guys, welcome back to the channel. In this video, uh, I'll give you my opinion about uh, the Duramo Speed after 100 miles. Uh, I'm now ready to share my impressions because uh, during these miles uh, I had the opportunities to uh, run different uh, uh, trainings, uh, so uh, easy runs, uh, tempo runs, and I also tried to have some speed workouts uh, with the Duramo Speed. So let's check it out. As usual, I'll leave you up here the link of the initial uh, video review where you can find all the specs and uh, uh, including the uh, running dynamics collected. I'm gonna start checking the conditions of the outsole, uh, midsole and upper and uh, at the end I'll give you my thoughts. Outsole now! The outsole, it doesn't have any continental rubber. Uh, the design pattern uh, is uh, quite weird. Uh, I believe it's the first time I see uh, this pattern in, uh, in the Adidas shoes. A uh, lot of rubber, but flexible uh, and uh, still in great conditions up to 100 miles. I run on the road and in the treadmill uh, uh, most of the times. So as you can see, really few signs of wear. I even tried the shoe uh, in wet conditions and the grip was still okay, so not bad at all. I'm not sure if this is anywhere rubber, but it looks pretty solid and uh, quite durable and it doesn't collect any stones like uh, other shoes in the lineup. So overall I'm quite happy with the household. Uh, maybe it is a bit too much uh, rubber, probably less rubber would be better. Midsole now! Moving on to the midsole, uh, you can check the running dynamics uh, collected in the, in the initial video review. So basically are the same because the condition of the shoe is uh, pretty similar. I haven't found any major differences. Uh, despite it is light track, uh, I like it. It is still firm, but uh, also with a, a decent cushioning. So for me, it was comfortable. Uh, but you know, guys, I like to run lower stackage shoes and uh, firm midsole. The midsole, in my opinion, without doubts, is still uh, in initial conditions, as I said. So it's still responsive as before. And um, this is actually an advantage of the light strike. Uh, in my opinion, is more durable. For the firmness of the foam, I was able still to run even some tempo runs, uh, keeping my heart rate pretty low. So I cannot complain, especially for the trainings I run uh, with this shoe that are mainly easy runs and uh, tempo runs, uh, the midsole is more than enough for me. And I like the shape and the colorway of the midsole, uh, so I'm quite happy with it. Upper now! Moving on to the upper. Yes, I confirm that um, if you remember the initial video review, this was the only downside I noticed at that time uh, that the shoe is pretty warm. And yes, I confirm uh, it is not breathable at all. <laughs> if you uh, live in a hot country, uh, I would not suggest it. Uh, it is too warm. Even during the coldest days, it uh, was keeping my feet pretty warm, uh, so perfect for the winter time and uh, for uh, uh, cold countries. At the beginning the upper was uh, pretty stiff and this is the second downside that I noticed afterwards, the initial video review. Uh, so I got some blisters uh, in the internal side of the feet and uh, actually one foot only and another uh, runner in, in this community uh, got as well. But no worries, after a few miles it's gone. Uh, it forgives more and uh, I didn't have any other blisters any longer, uh, so fine. It is pretty durable, at least looking at the conditions after 100 miles, uh, it seems to be perfect yet. I like this upper because uh, it keeps my feet in place uh, either in the forefoot or, or uh, in the heel counter, so it has a good foot lockdown, uh, which is perfect, especially during the tempo runs, but comfortable even uh, uh, during the long runs. And your impressions? The impression I collected during these miles uh, is that uh, the Duramo Speed is uh, light, responsive, uh, not so efficient uh, because the lack of the torsion system or the energy roads uh, 
but a good compromise uh, for easy and tempo rides, uh, even if I would not suggest it for uh, interval trainings. But for sure, it's a great value for money, especially because you can find it uh, available in the market uh, for only 60 euro, I believe. The issues has a lot of potential, in my opinion, uh, including a torsion system, for, for instance, would be a great support for the rolling motion, uh, so that the shoe could be uh, a good fit even for fast workouts. And in conclusion, therefore, in conclusion, I would say it is a great value for money, uh, especially if you are not living in uh, whole countries uh, and uh, if you are looking for a, a training uh, a shoe, uh, versatile uh, for easy or uh, temperate, deal I would say four minutes per kilometer pace. So I highly suggest it uh, instead of uh, paying another 60 euro for a Boston 12, uh, which in any case was not satisfying me uh, either for temperance or mm, fast workouts even if it is more comfortable during the easy runs uh, because the live try 2.0. I hope guys this video helps to answer some of your questions. If not, please raise your questions uh, in the comment down below and as usual I will be uh, really happy to answer it. If you like this content, please don't forget to leave a like, it will be a support for the channel, for my work and YouTube knows that this video doesn't suck. Only 5% of you uh, watching the videos is uh, uh, subscribed to the channel, so please subscribe. As always, as always, thank you for your support, for watching, and till the next time, keep running. Ice in my veins, I've been driving this train. Years in this lane, there's no stopping this flame. Cause I came to the game and I changed it to play. How I like rearranged it to my own domain. Yeah, I got what it takes, made lots of mistakes. Taking shots, skipping breaks, feeling lost, feeling great. Popping off, singing straight, never stop, never changed. All the squad here to play, and I've got something to say, yeah. I work hard each and every day. I get lost in the words I say. I don't push pause, no, I push play. I won't stop till I make a change. I withdraw on the things I make. I turn flaws into flawless traits. I build tall, never cap in space. I won't stop till I hear him say.